Hey guys, my name is Sitija, and today we're going to be talking about how to get into the world of research as an undergraduate. I want to share with you my five tips that helped me get to work on three research projects by just my third year of undergrad. So this is the breakdown of the video. Feel free to skip around as you need. So one, what is research? Well, academic research is a little bit different from the research that we refer to in everyday life. Uh, it's where you investigate a problem or question that hasn't been answered before or shed light on an existing topic rigorously. And that can take the form of creating a new theorem in mathematics all the way to analyzing personal accounts and recollections of World War II Germany uh, as a historian. And it's becoming more and more common for undergraduates to get involved in research now. And I want to tell you how you can get involved so that you're prepared for graduate school, med school, a job, or whatever you choose to pursue after getting your degree. Tip number one is to reach out to your favorite professors or advisors and see if they have any research openings available or know of anyone who does have an opening or opportunity. This is kind of how I got my first research experience that actually led to publishing in this journal called Complex Analysis and Operator Theory. And I reached out to this professor I had the previous year and he happened to know that this other professor was looking for motivated undergraduate students to work with. And I'm so glad that I reached out to that professor because I credit that research experience with starting this whole research journey that I'm on. And then also, my second research project actually started out as an honors project for a class, which the professor uh, really liked. And he was like, I really like the work you've done with this project. Would you like to continue working on uh, this, this and this, and then maybe get it published? And I was like, yes, sir, I would love to do that. So just always be on the lookout for these sorts of openings that professors can provide you or advisors can connect you with. Tip number two is RU programs. Another fantastic way to get into research uh, is these things called RU programs, which stands for Research Experiences for Undergraduates. There might be some at your school and there are always opportunities and programs at other universities. To get into one at your school, you'll wanna ask an advisor in the department uh, and look on the department website for opportunities. In fact, my second research experience uh, was in REU that I found just by looking up REU opportunities uh, on Google. And then I just clicked on the first link, which was a link to the REUs that are funded by the National Science Foundation. Uh, I'll put a link to that one in the description. And I applied to a few of them and was fortunate enough to get in and take part in one. So yeah, REUs are one of the best like prepackaged ways to get into research as an undergraduate. And then nextly, I, uh, I go to A&M, right? Texas A&M University. And here we have a website specifically for research opportunities called, called UROP, uh, which stands for Undergraduate Research Opportunity Program. And from a little bit of searching online, it looks like a lot of other schools have their own UROPs. And that's an absolute gold mine if you can find a website like that for your school, because it could save you so much time, like contacting professors and advisors, and it's all presented nicely on a web page. And then finally, if the above three methods don't work or aren't applicable, you can totally cold uh, call, not cold call, but cold email professors or labs that you're interested in working with. Honestly, I would advise you to email as many people that you're interested in working with as you can because these individuals are usually pretty busy and it's not guaranteed that everyone will respond to you. One of my friends in my major, his name is Will, and he's super accomplished and on the road to becoming a great mathematician. Uh, he, says, he says that if you want something, you have to be a little bit annoying about it. And what he means by that is you really need to take initiative as an aspiring researcher and set yourself up for success. You can't really expect anyone else to provide these opportunities for you. And really, I mean, if you're watching this video, you're already taking a great step in taking that initiative. In those emails, you should include a little bit about yourself and why you're interested in what they're working on. You should definitely include, include any previous research-like experience that you've had, like any independent readings or just anything that you feel like has prepared you to partake in research. And then create and polish your resume. When you enter the world of research, you'll want to have your CV or resume ready. Professors are looking for hardworking students to work with, so you'll want to have a super polished resume to give them. There are of course like a million resources, uh, free resources online for resume building. And personally, I just use a simple word template for mine and I've just built it up over the years. Um, hopefully sometime in the future, I'll make a separate video on how to make and polish up a CV or resume. But until then, just make sure that your stuff looks professional, 
uh, concise and polished. And then finally, research can be hard and it can take you a little while to figure out exactly what you wanna get out of it. But I promise that you will figure it out eventually. For me personally, it took a little while to converge while, uh, to what I think I wanna do in the field. And I expect that you'll also take a little while to figure it out. Research can be hard, difficult, tiring, but ultimately it actually is pretty rewarding um, as long as you work hard at it. If you like this video, firstly, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Uh, if you post a comment, I will respond to you. Make sure to subscribe and check out the rest of my channel. This is my first ever video, but I'm going to document this journey through graduate school here and provide tips and tricks to help you through college as well. My name is Sitija Monage, and I'll see you next time.